Hong Piao, the founder and chairman of Public Bank, will be stepping down from that role in January 2019. In a Busa filing, the group said Tae will be bestowed the title of Chairman Emeritus starting January 1, 2019 when he retires. Tae has been serving the group for 51 years since December 1965. However, he will stay on as advisor to provide guidance to support the continued growth of Public Bank. He will also retire from his role as chairman in Public Islamic Bank and Public Investment Bank, but stay on as non-executive director starting January 1st next year. The lender added that smooth transitions for the succession of the chairmanship are in place for these entities. It will announce the appointment of its new chairman at an appropriate time. After a lukewarm debut on Bursa, Lotte Chemical Titan reported a 72% plunge in net profit. Earnings fell to 113.6 million ringgit in the second quarter from 404 million ringgit last year. The group's net profit were hit by higher cost of goods sold and higher unit production costs amid an unplanned water interruption in Johor. Revenue also dropped, falling 11% from just under 2 billion ringgit to 1.78 billion. As for its first half cumulative net profit, it was down 32% to 455.8 million. Top line shrank 7% to some 3.7 billion. Going forward, the group says the petrochemicals market should continue to be resilient in the near term. It's expecting its FY17 numbers to be positive. Despite the revelations made by US DOJ in its lawsuits, neither the National Audit Department nor the Public Accounts Committee will be going through 1MDB's books. Auditor General Madina Mohammad says her department will only review 1MDB's accounts if it is instructed to do so by the government. While PAC Chairman Hassan Arifin reiterates there is no need to reopen investigation into the 1MDB scandal as the committee has nothing to do with the DOJ's lawsuits. Meanwhile, the Attorney General's chambers is also staying out of the suits, saying that it will not be sending observers to attend the civil proceedings. Minister in the PM's department, Azalina Othman, says no Malaysian individual has been accused of criminal charges and that Putrajaya respect DOJ's right to take any legal action it deems fit against 1MDB. The DOJ is seeking to recover assets worth 1.7 billion USD that were bought with funds allegedly siphoned from the state-owned firm. MAHB's net profit jumped a whopping 614% in the second quarter. Earnings came in at almost 67 million ringgit as opposed to only 9.38 million a year ago. Revenue came in at 1.1 billion ringgit, up 10% from 997.6 million ringgit on higher passenger growth. It declared a dividend of 5 cents a share. In the Bursa filing, the airport operator said passenger traffic increased by 13% to 23.9 million passengers. As for its Turkish business, Sabiha Gokchen International Airport saw passenger traffic up by 4% to 7.8 million passengers. As for its half-year period, MAHB says net profit climbed to 128.9 million ringgit from 26.4 million last year, while revenue rose from about 2 billion ringgit to almost 2.2 billion. Sabah-based WMG Holdings is looking to launch 1.3 billion ringgit worth of new projects after making its debut on Bursa today. The company was listed via a reverse takeover of Takala Corp. Group MD Kwek Siu Hao says the listing is timely as it allows the company to tap into the capital market for future land banking opportunities and also raise its corporate profile. Though Kwek did not specify a time frame, he mentions that WMG is looking at launching residential and commercial projects on its existing 44.12 acres of land in Sabah. These are to be financed by internally generated funds and bank borrowings. WMG has a total undeveloped land bank of about 620 acres. 442 acres are in Sandakan and the 178 acres are in Kota Kinabalu. WMG opened at 50 cent, 2 cent over its IPO price. It ended the day at 43 cent.